It's time once again to grab your carrots. And to get ready for some Looney Tunes cartoons. some big news for you. Okay, so what is it, Tubia? I've been assigned for an audition for the upcoming opera show tonight. Isn't that exciting? Hey, that is very great news. I indeed, me lad. Congratulations, Tubia. Uh, say, um, who do you think made the announcements just this morning? Why, she goes by the name of Big Red Rosy Hood. But between you and me, I think I need to practice so I don't embarrass her. Uh, does anybody know the way? Hmm, an opera show, eh? In that case, Princess Balloonia, I would like you to take Tobia out back and become her instructor so she can practice. As you wish, my queen. All right, Tobia, let's just cut down to the chase. If you're going to sound like a professional opera singer, looks like you're going to have to borrow one of these, especially if it helps you sing authentically. Now watch closely. <sighs> Yes, it's a me. Don't wear it out. Also, I couldn't help myself but hear such wonderful music. I wonder where it's coming from. Oh yes, I knew I'd recognize that singing from somewhere. Surely we could use you for our upcoming opera show. And I guarantee you, it's going to be a big hit. Wow, you mean it? Why, thank you, Miss Rosie Hood. Now, on a one condition, do you think I can take my friends with me to the opera show? Why, they'd be quite excited to see my glorious performance. Of course you can bring your friends with you. All the tickets are available! <laughs> I taught her everything she knows! Don't you want to give me one last request? Sorry, Mr. Wabbit, but there's nothing you can do to convince me otherwise. No, no, really, Doc! I'll do anything for you! I swear! Very well. Now, just what do you have in mind, Wabbit? Uh, 
I was thinking about you becoming a daredevil? A daredevil? Surely, Mac, many folks can come from all around the world to see your brilliant stunts. You know, outside of shooting wabbits with your old gun, you crazy. Gee, I never thought about it like that. I... Hey! This isn't another one of your practical jokes, is it, Mr. Wabbit? <laughs> nope. No practical joke here, Doc. And just one more thing. If we go through all the test stunts before the big night, you'll do wonders and win a $1,000 reward. Hey, seems like a fortune, all right. Indeed, Mac. Now your first step, diving into a huge tank full of water. Where? I, I don't see one. Eh, care to take a peek, Mac? You know, sometimes I'm so smart it almost scares me. <laughs> Hey, uh, Wabbit, this might sound a little crazy, but how come I'm tied and glued to a mechanical bull? Didn't you remember, Mac? We have to practice, remember? And yes, the rope and super glue were added to make sure that the saddle works properly. And when you put that out of the way, time to get you back in the saddles again. Help! Jane, stop this crazy thing! You know, it takes a miracle to learn how to ride a bull, and now this joker wants to get off. And now we have arrived at the grand finale for Elmer the Great, jumping over the Grand Canyon. I don't know about this, Mr. Wabbit. I mean, this does seem kind of dangerous to me. At least I know how Mr. Coyote feels. Hey, come on now, Doc. You can't give up this easily. We were doing so well with the practice runs. Surely you wouldn't want to disappoint your own audiences once the real events begin. You do want to win that $1,000 reward, do ya? <sighs> All right, fine. Let's get this over with. Okie dokie, then. Eh, bon voyage, Doc. Happy 4th of July. <laughs> Hey, well done, Doc. You made it across without a single scratch on you. I did? Absolutely, Mac. Looks like you'll be ready for tonight's daredeviling just like we practiced.
Well, at the very least, he won't be chasing after me for a couple of days. <laughs>